Welcome to my channel, Nugget Shooterette Expedition. I'm Tammy, if it's the first time you're watching me. Um, today, we are out, Bill and I, and um, we're looking for mushrooms again. We're up in Flagstaff, and we have seen some mushrooms up near the campground this morning. We walked across to the woods from the campground, and we did find some mushrooms that are up, but not edible mushrooms, so you gotta be very careful, of course, when coming to picking mushrooms. But what we're looking for at this time of year is belit mushrooms. I have not personally had them yet. I wish they were morels coming up right now, but we're looking for belits today. So here's a little look around in the woods here. Got the chihuahuas in the truck. Oh, I thought I heard somebody talking, Bill's talking, or either he's filming, I don't know. But anyways, looking for mushrooms. And what you also want to look for, I'm trying to see if I could find a spot, when the pine tags, well, I call them pine tags from Virginia, so I know well, some of y'all will be like, what is she talking about? But uh, the pine needles, pine tags, whatever, you, but where, again, I said I call them pine tags. Um, they'll be raised up, like with a mushroom trying to push up out of the dirt, and that's where you want to look for that, too. I'm trying to see if I see any, but I'm not really seeing any. But the they'll be raised up, like, in a mound, because the mushroom's trying to push through. But, uh, I'm not seeing any at the moment. But anyways, I want to just give you all a view of the beautiful woods. There's a truck over there. And I'll do a little bit of hunting around, and when I come across something, I'll get back with y'all. Well, y'all, we, we haven't found any bleach yet, but we have to take a ride to town in the Flagstaff and get a few things. But I thought I'd just film all the beautiful pine trees as we're going to town and the scenery. And there is Mr. Southern and Bruno and we got Dixie, Shadow, and Little Bit. But yeah, I just thought I'd film. Kind of, is it raining over there, honey? Can't tell. Kind of looked like it was raining in the distance. But we're enjoying ourselves. Um, and on the way back, I think we're going to stop and look around again for some mushrooms and see what we do to find any. But um, there you go. Some beautiful pine trees, and I'll get back with y'all. All right, y'all. It's the next day, and yesterday we did some mushroom hunting. So we, and then it started pouring down rain when we went to town and came back. So. Uh, we didn't get to finish our mushroom hunt, so we're going to go out right now. And it feels amazing out here. It's like going to be the high of 72. We're so stoked to be away from the, the heat down back where we live. Um, we're staying at Mormon Lake Campground. We've stayed here before. We really enjoy this place. I'll just give you a look around. We really enjoy this camp spot we have here. And it's a nice little campground and getaway. Quiet. Well, maybe a little louder on the weekends, but... During the week, not so bad. And there's Mr. Southern and the camper and the Chihuahuas inside. And of course, Bruno, he's gonna walk with us to look for some mushrooms. He's ready to go. So, so uh, we get my stuff together and we're gonna take a little hike in the woods over there and see if we can get us the mushrooms. What we're looking for is King Belit mushrooms. So I hope to find some. Get back with y'all. Okay, y'all. Uh, we took a little drive down the road, so we had to park right here by the road because um, as only foot and horse travel is permitted. So 
can't drive back there but we're going to walk around it's drizzling a little bit right now hopefully it doesn't start pouring or nothing but we're going to check out walk through these woods and see if we can find a mushroom get back all right y'all we just walked up and then we have we do see some mushrooms up a couple of them right here but they're gilled of course you never eat a gilled mushroom if you're not absolutely certain what it is because you know mushrooms can be deadly but uh so there are some mushrooms up we just need to find the belief oh my god y'all i just came across this mushroom it is so big and it might be a belief or slippery jack because i try to look underneath it and it looks spongy it doesn't have gills so i don't know if it's a belief or a slippery jack but that's a big old mushroom right there y'all I'm pretty excited about that find. I saw that thing for a few feet away and I started walking closer. I said, is that a mushroom? And it was. I call him Bill over here right now. But yeah, that's a big one. He's on his way and so is Bruno and C. But I don't see gills underneath really. So um Maybe a bolete or a slippery jack. Honey, it looks spongy underneath. Watch out, Bongo. No, Bruno. Oh, sorry, y'all. I want to make sure he don't come stomping over on this. <sighs> Got excited finding this big old mushroom. Need to look around. He's taking a sweet time, y'all. So, see what he says. Bruno, come. And stay right here. Don't be coming over here near the mushroom boy. Holy moly. Look at this mushroom, honey. I think it's a bolete. Or a sli or slippery jack. It's not no, no, that's not a slippery jack. It don't have gills, I don't think. It's spongy. I mean, look, I think you might have scored big, honey. I think I have, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's a big old belief. Oh, my God, it is? Yep. I, I got to cut it down because I found it. I feel like a kid, y'all. Sorry. I'm kind of excited because it's the first good mushroom I found. But uh, I'm going to I'm gonna cut the camera off and, and cut this off. And uh, I'm pretty stoked. Okay, y'all, I just twisted it and pulled it up, and I just wanted to show you the underside where it's spongy like this and uh, spores, not gilled. So that's always a good sign of an edible mushroom. But look how big it is, y'all. That is a monster mushroom. That's enough for supper. Do <laughs> you think? Honey. <laughs> that's enough for supper. Let me cut it off see how but, bad the bugs are. But one thing we have to check for now. Bruno, come. Sorry, he runs off. We're near a road. Another thing you have to, to check for, y'all, is bug too. So oh, they're still edible when the bugs have been in them, but yeah. I mean, if it's too bad, right? We're gonna cut it off. Hopefully right not, because that's a good one I found. Oh no, it's perfect. Look at that. <gasps> oh my goodness! It's got a few little bitty bug holes. Oh. You can see one here. No, those don't matter. Look at that. That's a beauty. Well, just you see. You, this would be full of little holes if it was real bad. And we're going to put this right back down in here. Just yeah, because. Help it grow another It one. won't grow. Well, but it'll, it'll be uh, the spores. Basically, it's a fruit. I mean, it's like an apple on an apple tree. I'm so the excited. Mycelium's in the ground here. That's my best mushroom pig right there. Yeah, it is. We'll clean and it up when we get home. The good thing about this, no, I haven't learning this knowledge of, of mushrooms. That pig weighs three pounds. If you... Uh, you know, you, if you need to survive or something in the woods and you you, you do educate you yourself Put it in your bag. on some mushrooms, then, you know, it can be helpful for survival. So I'm stoked. Let's see if I can find some more, y'all. Get back with you. Oh, my goodness. Well, I've never seen one in real life, but I came across another mushroom. But this is the one you don't want to uh, eat. It's poor. Uh, uh, you know, take that it. one might be edible. It might be, but it's fly argic. Ar Argaric, but I, I think argaric. It also well, could be a Caesar's, uh, what's called a Caesar's mushroom. <laughs> but it's a very beautiful, but um, from the pictures and stuff, I know with the red with the white, uh, you do not want to eat. So, do you want to show them some slipper jacks? And then, 
I believe, and this is another one over here that's opened up more. But I definitely coming across the mushrooms. I am on fire. But we got some more over here. We'll get one more look at that. And I got to take a picture in a minute too. We got some slippery jacks come up over here. But I didn't, I didn't, Bill's ate them. But I didn't care for them. But they are edible, slippery jack. But uh, yeah, I have run into some mushrooms over here. Pretty stoked. So let me get back with y'all. All right, y'all, I'm on my second big mushroom. Not as big as the first one, but I've got another belete. Bill says they're belete, so he has a little more knowledge of it than me. But uh, I got me another one. I'm doing pretty good. And uh, we, have, we definitely have seen some up, but you know, of course we're looking for the ones that are edible, what we've been searching for. So I'm just gonna twist it out and uh, we'll check it. And I don't really see any bugs on this one, honey. This is a nice one. But uh, maybe we got to cut the end off and check it. You always got to check for the bugs. But this is a this is nice mushroom. All right, right y'all. I was just walking through, and I just wanted to show you all these coming up. And we're going to identify these when we get home because. Bill says they may not be the fly argaric, but they sure are pretty mushrooms. See, there's some coming up. And there's one right here coming up. See how they push up through the pine tags like that? That's what you want to look for when you're mushroom hunting. Where, like here, for example, there's a mound trying to push up through right here. So I'm going to uncover it and see what we got right here. I don't touch the mushrooms, Bill will touch them, but I don't like to. And it might be a belief, but I'm not sure. Again, I'm getting new to this mushroom foraging. So we gotta rely on our mushroom friend, Charlie, and Bill's knowledge and looking things up again because I'm new. Okay y'all we are back at camp and here is my finds for the day. Look at those they're huge. Um, I'm pretty happy about that because I've been doing some mushroom hunting for a while because if y'all remember in some past videos the last time I was in Payson and we were hunting for morels and we had no luck we found zero zilch but this time was a lot of different mushrooms up of course a lot that you don't eat but these are edible. Look at that. It's a big, nice mushroom. See, there's no gills. That's a big mushroom right there. That's plenty. Okay, I'm going to try them. Now, I can't guarantee if I'm going to like it, but then I told Bill he'll have, he'll have to eat it all. We got some filet mignons. So, you know, mushrooms always go good with steak. So, I'm done for the day. It's time to relax in, in our uh, camper. Love it up here. It's drizzling a little bit. I just set some food out for the ravens because I like to give them a little bit of leftovers and they, they like to eat it. And y'all know I told you raven's my favorite bird. So anyways, enough rambling. I'm happy about finding these mushrooms today. But um, yeah, we we'll probably might go back out tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to try to do some detecting in the woods while I'm here too. So we'll see what happens. But okay, on that note, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you enjoy these videos, and see you in the next one.